Welcome. You are watching the program Astrology in the Light of Science. Myself, Professor Dr. Basu, your astrological consultant. Since last few months, I have been requested from many my fans and friends to conduct some program in English. So, from now on, I will conduct some of my programs in English only because apart from West Bengal there are so many fans and friends of mine who don't understand Bengali that's why for them I have committed that some of our programs will be conducted in English now onwards so today our topic of discussion in astrology is regarding health very important very very important especially in my prescription i put my first point for the prediction of health <clears throat> regarding the disease a native will have throughout his or her life <clears throat> there is a statement in medical science that prevention is better than cure exactly if we get to know the probability of the diseases we may face we may experience in our life we can take the necessary precaution for that today we will explain the aspect of disease or health in astrology with an example <clears throat> so let's look at the boat uh, let's see here the native has the date of birth 28 8 at 8.47 a.m. in Odisha. <clears throat> According to the chart, as I told you that the real astrology is not involved with a single or two charts only. As we know that I follow divisional charts for the prediction for every every aspects of life for the prediction i generally follow 16 to 17 divisional charts apart from d1 and d9 for each and every valve or each and every aspect of life we have different different charts like that like for the profession as you know that we put maximum emphasis on the 10th house in D1 but apart from the 10th house of D1 we should check the D9 for this for checking the strength of the planet and the bhav chart and the special chart D10 which is mainly responsible for the professional aspect of a native like that today my discussion will be restricted only to the health and disease of a native as you know that the ascendant we put maximum emphasis on the ascendant ascendant lot and the planets which are placed in ascendant in g1 but apart from this i we should check the d9 to check the strength of the planet as well as the bhav chart so many times i told you that bhav chart gives the actual efficacy of the planet on that particular bhav where the planets are getting placed in the bhav chart it doesn't mean that planets are getting shifted it's not that but planet gives the efficacy of that bhav because the ascendant 
we map the ascendant zero degree so with that we uh, get the bhav chart and for every aspect we should examine the bhav chart <clears throat> here i didn't uh, draw the bhav chart separately because for this matter the bhav chart every planets are getting the efficacy of the different bhavs like that jupiter jupiter is getting the effect of eighth bhav mars is getting the effect of sixth bhav like that likewise saturn is getting the effect of third bhav and the mercury is getting the effect of twelfth bhav in spite of being placed in the ascendant mercury is getting the efficacy of the 12th bhav and sun and rahu at the same time it is getting the effect of 11th bhav <clears throat> now let's see what are the disease these uh native will face will experience in his or her life starting from point 1 that is the ascendant here we can see that the ascendant is the bhagavatama what is bhagavatama when a planet is placed in the same sign in d1 and d9 we call the planet as bhagavatama here you can see that the ascendant is placed in the virgo so the ascendant is bhagavatama it is good it signifies good now ascendant lord ascendant lord that is mercury as per d1 the ascendant lord is mercury it is placed in, it is placed in it is getting the effect of 12th it is getting the effect of 12th bhav as per bhav chart the ascendant lord Mar mercury though it is placed in the ascendant still it is getting the effect of the 12th bhav 12th bhav signifies the draining out that the immunity power of that body will drain out in general and the third third one saturn Check the status of Saturn. Saturn is retrograde. Number one, <clears throat> it signifies that the we check the the disease uh, involved with I from the Saturn strength of Saturn. And if the Saturn is uh, not benefic in that sense, we check the status of I. The 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 native may face uh, so many disease uh, involved in I. So from I, so this uh, Saturn, Saturn is retrograde here, and Saturn is not that much benefic because it is sixth lord. So Saturn is retrograde, and in D nine, you can say in D nine, D nine also is very very important. Just now I told that it it it, it, it uh, gives us the strength of a planet. So here in D nine, Saturn is debilitated. so it signifies that the native will have eye disease in his or her life then rahu rahu in aquarius here rahu in aquarius in d1 rahu in aquarius it's not good and in d9 rahu check the d9 rahu is in eighth eighth house that is in back place as you know that 6 8 12 is the malefic house is in vedic astrology so rahu in is in 8th house and d9 so so ultimately we can say that the from rahu and saturn we can say that the native will have different different diseases apart from eye disease different different disease in leg and bone and especially if the the native experiences all the six all the time there is a dosha antar dosha and pratyant dosha that is a set subset and sub to subset is malefic then if it, it is rahu and sudan then definitely the disease uh, of the board may lead to the knee uh, replacement <coughs> so But the DAP is very very important. The DAP is very very important because we can actually tell about the regular time. At what time? What disease the 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 native will experience?
Number four, Jupiter is placed in the sign of Venus in D1. And Jupiter is Jupiter is eighth house in D9. Just now I told that the sixth is charge of the malefic houses in Vedic astrology. And in D9, it is it is placed in conjunction with Rahu and Saturn. Jupiter is placed in conjunction of Ra with Rahu and Saturn. It signifies that the native will have the different various disease in intestine. It, the, 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 the native may experience the lesion in intestine problems in bowels. So these are the problems, the abdominal problem the native will face. Fifth, sun. Now, the, now check the sun. Sun is in D1. It is placed in 12th house but it is in its own sign. And sun has the direct aspect of Rahu. Here I didn't mention the nakshatra but this native uh, sun, has, sun has the nakshatra of Ketu. It is good but uh, Ketu is placed in sun and Ketu has is under the constellation of Venus and Venus is not benefic for him. That's why it signifies that the native will have the disease of heart and nerve regarding nerve and number six the moon moon and rahu moon and rahu in d1 moon and rahu is placed in the same sign and mercury is mercury is placed in 12th mercury is getting the not mercury, mercury is getting the effect of 12th bhav in bhavchar so the native will have the problem taking decisions that, that all of a sudden if the native takes a decision it will be wrong enough and last but not the least Mars is under the nakshatra of Mercury and Mars is retrograde and Mars is retrograde so, so different different bleeding at different times he may face he was he may face the bleeding okay for it may be uh, it may come out from the accident or from any phenomena but different when the bleeding uh, the uh, from different at different times uh, he or she may face bleeding uh, uh, that uh, uh, is in her ch in, in his or her chart in d1 and d9 also <clears throat> and so ultimately we can conclude that the having so many different different disease since the ascendant, since the ascendant lord is exalted in ascendant is Mercury. So we can conclude that though the native will have different disease in his or her life, his lifespan will be long. Or so with the multiple disease, he or she will get a long life. So we can conclude with this. So this is the significance. This is the significance of checking so many charts with the bhav charts. Uh, I think uh, you will like the program from now onwards. The persons who don't understand Bengali, they will also uh, start knowing the astrology in the light of science.